Hello everyone, welcome to your stretch break today. I am Caitlin. For today's class, all you will need is a mat or a carpet. We are going to start standing in a ragdoll position. So keep your legs nice and straight and then bend at your hips, grab your elbows, drop your head and just relax through your hamstrings, through your low back, your rock side to side if that feels good for you. Taking away any tension that you feel in your neck. Just let everything kind of hang. Stretch. Perfect. We're going to come up to a halfway lift. So hands right above your knees, shoulders back, back is flat. Okay. Then we're going to come back down to that right golf position. Grabbing your elbows. Eyes look right between your knees. Again, just relaxing here, letting your hamstrings stretch out. Getting rid of any tension that you feel through your shoulders or upper back, especially if you've been sitting most of the day. Then we'll come back up to our halfway lift, shoulders back and down. Then coming up, reaching as tall as you can towards the ceiling. Then we're gonna go into a mini back bend here. So bending your elbows, leaning back just a little bit. You should feel your shoulders open up, chest open up. Good, reaching tall again towards the ceiling. And then back to that mini back bend, keeping your elbows back as far as you can. We'll do one more. Reaching up nice and tall. And then mini back bend. Step nice and wide, dropping that left arm, right arm over the top, pulling back, opening up through your chest, through your shoulder. And you should also feel a nice little stretch through your ribs and into your hip. Okay, we'll switch on over to our other side. So left arm up, right arm down, pulling back behind your head, feeling that nice stretch again through your side body. Good, we'll go side to side a few more reps on your own time. Wonderful job. We'll go one more time each side, pulling that arm back just a little bit more. Great, we'll reach up to the ceiling, down to the floor, keeping your feet wide, and then we're gonna sit down and do our heels. So you can toe heel your feet closer together, further apart, whatever feels best for you. Elbows on the inside of your knees, pushing out, chest is up, and hips are close to the floor. So if you feel any little pull through your hips, that is just fine, breathe into that tension. Excited. Put your feet in any position that feels good for you today. You can rock back and forth or just stay in this position without moving. Whatever feels better for you. Putting your hands on the ground, pressing back up into a bent over position, straighten those legs, and then we'll come back in one more time into that deep squat. Again, chest is up, your side view, your back is nice and flat. Shoulders are back. And working your way into this position, trying to feel comfortable for your hips. Hands on the ground, standing up. And then we will come down to our back. Nice job there. Working on some mobility. <laughs> okay, so we're going to roll all the way down to the ground. You can set your feet. About as wide as your mat, hands will just be out to the side, palm face to the ground. We'll drop our knees down to the left and down to the right, just getting some movement through your hips and low back. Wonderful, a couple more reps here. Half 
actively pushing down with that top leg. Again, a nice deep stretch. Do one more rep each side. And then good, we'll bring our legs up to 90 degrees. We'll drop our legs down all the way to the left. Trying to keep your, both of your shoulder blades on the ground, stacking those hips. Engage your core and your obliques, and then we'll bring our legs all the way over to the right. Just let everything relax once you get there. Again, stacking those hips, both shoulders touching the ground. Just go back side to side, a couple more reps here. So this is kind of like those bent knee windshield wipers that we do in express abs, but we're taking away that tension. We're only engaging our core. So lift our legs up and over and then we relax. And side to side one more time. Wonderful, extend your legs up straight. You're gonna roll onto one side. We'll take that top leg, grab at the ankle, stretch your other arm out, and you can relax your head right on that arm. We'll pull that knee down, push your top hip forward into a nice sideline quad stretch. Really nice here. Feeling that stretch throughout your whole quad and into your hip. Extend that leg and then come back in again. Awesome, extend and then one more time. And extend, good. You can just roll on over, you know, flip all the way around, just for you. Good, grabbing that top ankle, not at your toe. You don't wanna pull your ankle in any bad direction. Push your knee down towards the ground, push your top hip forward. You get a nice stretch through your quad and hip. Extend and then come back in two more times. And extend last time here. Yeah, good. Extend. Coming back on your back, we're going to grab one knee, pull in towards your chest, give it a little pinch, and then extend your leg, grab behind your hamstring, and pull in. Hamstring stretch. From here, we're going to go to a supine figure four. So bending that top knee, internally rotate, lift your other leg up, grab behind, and pull in. Should feel a nice deep stretch on the leg that's on the wound hip of the leg that's making the floor. Wonderful. Drop your legs, pulling your other knee in, give it a nice little pinch, and then extend that leg, hamstring stretch. Good, internally rotate, bring that knee up and pull in supine figure four. Really nice job, we're gonna drop both legs. We're gonna go back through those one more time. So pulling in that right knee, extend, hamstring stretch. Internally rotate, other leg comes up, 
grabbing behind figure four. Pulling in nice and strong here. Maybe a little bit deeper stretch than the first time. Good, dropping both legs, bringing that left knee in, give it a pinch. Extend that left leg, grab the high, pull it in, hamstring stretch. And then internally rotate, right leg comes up, grab the high, supine figure four. Again, pulling in a little bit deeper this time. Wonderful, extend that leg, rolling on over to your belly. <laughs> We're gonna finish off with just a few stretches here. Starting on your elbows, bringing your shoulders down around. We're gonna be in this sphinx pose. So actively engaging your shoulders, pushing back, palms pushing to the ground. Trying to get a nice deep stretch through your low back. You can either stay in this position or you can work your hands down and push up into a cobra position. Either way, you're stretching out your low back, shoulders stay down, relax. Give that nice stretch. Bring your knees wide, feet together. Coming into a child's pose to finish it off today. Walk your fingers out as much as you can, stretching for your left and your shoulders. Your head, forehead can rest on the ground. Oh, bring this relaxation that you started today in this class to the rest of the day. If you find any stressful moments, come back. Maybe Add in a couple stretches if you can, or just think back to this moment of how relaxed you feel. Try to bring that intention back to your day. Wonderful coming up. Thank you so much for coming today. At 1.20, we have Yoga Salt with Sarah. So I hope to see you again and have a wonderful day.